I'm sure that you've asked yourself what this all means, and from what place this meaning may come. Why do you do these things that you do, and what will you do when you're done? Will you ever be more than the sum of your parts when Theseus' ship has set sail? In what way and why is success ever measured, and do you grow more when you fail? Will you know where you are till you've stopped altogether? Will Schrodinger's cat be alive? Could you learn even more when you learn without aim? Is inquiry greater than drive? Are the things you don't have what define you in life? Are you more than you have to defend? When you're granted existence without need to fight, will that be the ultimate end? Do the questions mean more than the things that you know? Have you faith in the God of the gaps? Will you find true relief from the stress and the tension when all your mind finally snaps? Can truth still have meaning when open to all? Do you trust in the things you can't see? Where will life take you whenever you get there? What have you wanted to be? What school of life do you call education? What have you wanted to learn? And why do you seek it wherever you do? Just what are you trying to earn? How do you manage rejecting the base? How is ignorance left far behind? And when it's discarded and knowledge remains, just what are you hoping to find? Will you still find more truth as you sift through the rubble when all your life's work takes a fall? If joy is illusion and love just distracts, then what do you want after all? What do you feel more for the beautiful people? Enchantment or mounting disgust? And where, if so, why does the mind draw the line? Do aesthetics preside over lust? Do you let yourself dwell in the land of the spirits? Do you only respect what you feel? And if you feel something beyond the five senses, does that make it any less real? Where do you go when you start to grow tired? And when you're there, what do you seek? Who do you talk to, where, why, and when? And what do you say when you speak? Wherever you journey, whatever you do, if you preach, meditate, or explore, when the cycle completes and the end comes twice over, still will these questions endure? If ever this path at some point comes to end, if to a head ever it comes, are these questions the muses that set the adventure, or do they only arise when it's done? And that's not a rhetorical question. I expect an answer.